A number of brands throughout the United States wanted to commemorate 9-11 by promoting their products. And they got backlash for it, and I wanna give you a few examples. In New Jersey, there's a restaurant known as Acai Later, and they sell acai bowls, which sounds like a California thing and it's super annoying. But nonetheless, they decided to take an Instagram photo showing you know, the skyline of New York, with an acai bowl you know, in the photo as well. They got so much backlash that they later took that down and then reposted the photo without the bowl. But all the other hashtags, etc. Yeah. So great way to celebrate 9-11, I hope you're not doing that. Commemorate 9-11 is with an acai bowl from the view we have at our restaurant. <sighs> but you know, it's America. It's and capitalism, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, so Whatever you, you gotta do, uh, it was originally supposed to be a commemoration, it was supposed to be solemn. Ah, on the other hand, we could sell some uh, fruit bowls that we're calling acai bowls, and we could put it in it with a nice view and make some money off of it. Welcome to America. But isn't this, I mean look, it, I'm actually amazed that they got enough backlash, they took the original photo down, because this kind of shameless self-promotion is celebrated in the country. It's celebrated in every facet of life, regardless of what you do for a living, okay? You know you know how it is for us, like, oh, you work in news? What's your Twitter following? What's your Instagram following? Are you posting enough? Are you active on social media? Are you promoting yourself enough? Nonstop promotion, promote, 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 promote. It's a symptom of capitalism, it is. And I'm, look, I, I am not against a capitalistic system, but this is a, a symptom of it. Yeah. I, I thought Christianity was not about materialism. That it was the what Jesus Christ preached was the opposite of materialism. Give away all your worldly goods to the poor, the needy, and and help your fellow man. But we have somehow twisted it in this country so that I mean, there's literally a thing called prosperity gospel that if you don't live in America, you have to be confounded by. Like, really, that's a thing. They took Jesus's. Literal words of saying, give away all your worldly goods and you have no chance of getting into heaven if you're rich. It said it's harder to get it for a rich man to get into heaven than for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle. And they took that and said, "Oh, you see that Jesus wants you to be absurdly rich. First, he wants your pastor to be incredibly rich and he wants him to have private jets and limos. Then he wants you to be rich and he wants all of you guys to focus on nothing but materialism. In fact, we'll take his birthday, we'll get him out of there because he's in, he looks homeless, get him out. Put in a fat Santa in a red suit that gives away stuff that you actually have to pay for, mm -hmm. okay? And we'll drive towards that and then no matter how solemn the occasion is, birth of Jesus or 9-11, just sell, 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 baby, and then Whatever the original message of America was, or the Bible was, or anything else was, everybody's forgotten. On a day especially when the theme is never forget. Right. So, and, and the side bowl, by the way, is just one of many examples. Yeah, Let's just run yeah. through the I others. feel bad that we've like only <laughs> talked about that because there have been a number of other companies who have done something similar. Back in 2013, for instance, AT&T wanted to show off their inventory of, of new iPhones. And so they posted a photo holding an iPhone with the New York skyline in the background. So very similar to the acai bowl. Just, okay, leave it be, leave it be. Uh, but, but we can't because it's America and we gotta make a buck. But look, final thing on it is, what did George W. Bush, the president at the time say right after uh, the attacks? So at other great moments, uh, our presidents have uh, stood up and given inspiring speeches that wind up making a difference. FDR talked about this is a day that will live in infamy, referring to Pearl Harbor. He said, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. And JFK was amazing during the Cuban Missile Crisis. And he had great lines in other instances where he said, don't ask what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Inspire people. What did George W. Bush say after 9-11? Go shopping, literally. He gave a speech in response and, and the main theme was just go back to normal life and he literally said, just continue shopping. Can you imagine if a woman said that? Oh, Can you just imagine for one second if a female politician said that? Just, let's just go back to shopping.
okay? Because the shopping must not be interrupted by tragedy. And so this is, as Anna points out, a symptom of that initial problem to begin with. And by, by the way, I believe in balance. I think that we could, we could actually have capitalism that doesn't run amok, that doesn't take over all of our lives and turn us into all materialistic pigs that are obsessed with things we must have because our neighbor has it. We could actually be decent to one another and still have private enterprise. That's what I believe, but apparently I'm in the minority. The TYT Plus app is now available on iOS and Android. Download to get more TYT content at tyt.com slash app.